Jim and Pam is everybody's favorite couple that came together in the office. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about the time when Jim and Pam weren't really good people and see if there's anything that we can learn from that. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health. Sometimes like what I like to do is pull different topics from different movies, TV shows, things like that and see if we can improve our mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. Now, real quick confession. So I never got into the office. I watched an episode here and there, but I knew like the way I am, I have to binge watch the whole thing. So anyways, last night, my beautiful girlfriend Tristan and I, we binge watched season one. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about Jim and Pam in season one, and we're gonna talk about all the bad things and see what all of us can learn about relationships. But first, let's do a little recap of how their relationship started out in season one. So the series starts out by showing the playful flirting between Jim and Pam, making the viewer think, "Oh, I hope they get together. It's not long after that when we find out that Pam is actually engaged to some D-bag named Roy from the warehouse. Throughout the entire season, we see Jim clearly having a thing for Pam because he's in love with her. But again, she is with Roy. One day when Jim is flirting with Pam, Roy walks in and he is ticked off. But it's cool because Jim backs down and he says they were playing a prank on Dwight, which Dwight denies to cover up the downsizing alliance that he has with Jim. Then comes the company basketball game where the sales team plays against the warehouse and things get a little physical between Jim and Roy while Jim is trying to impress Pam with his sweet basketball skills. In the season finale though, Jim and Roy are pretty cool with each other, eating lunch together with Pam when Roy starts telling Jim to hook up with the new gal Katie who's selling purses and how he would hook up with her if he was single. And Pam gets upset. That Roy guy sure is a jerk. And after seeing all this, we're like, <laughs> Well, Jim and Pam should get together. It's only the right thing to do, but we need to calm down and talk about what's really going on here, all right? So we need to talk about this just with relationships as a whole. I've been in bad relationships. You've probably been in bad relationships. All of us have been in bad relationships. And during that time, the more we start to dislike the person that we're with, the more our feelings can grow with another person. Sometimes they might even seem a little bit more attractive just because we are not happy in the relationship that we're in. So we need to take a look at this because while you're still with somebody, it is not okay to be flirting with somebody else. There are many people, many, many people who consider emotionally cheating worse than physically cheating with another person. And that is what Jim and Pam are doing this entire time. Now, don't get me wrong, that guy Roy is a jerk and Pam should not be with that guy Roy. But while she is with him, it is not okay to be flirting with Jim. But at the same time, Jim pursuing that and continuing to flirt with Pam throughout this entire relationship, that is not okay either. Especially when this dude got caught by Roy flirting with Pam and Roy was clearly upset about it. So what ends up happening? I'm only into the first episode of season two, but that's when a little kiss goes down. But anyways, we need to talk about this as a situation. What is the correct thing to do? So let's break it down for Jim as well as Pam. Because if you're the person in the relationship, like if you are seeking something from somebody else, you need to break it off. Like you simply need to break it off. Like one of the one of the lies that we tell ourselves is that it's okay to be doing this because we're not happy and this person's a jerk or they did this or they did that. Like the best thing to do, the right thing to do is to just break it off and say, yo, I'm not happy. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Pam's been with this guy for years, they're engaged, it's not that easy. I know, I am not denying that in any way, shape or form. It is hard, it is difficult, especially if you're living with the person, but it is the right thing to do, to have that conversation. So you either A, work on it, go get yourself some couples counseling or something like that, or B, you break it off before you start pursuing anything else. Because then, how are you any better than the jerk that you're with? Right now, in Jim's case, when seeing that Pam is with this jerk Roy, like 
it would be best for Jim to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Pam instead of doing this little, you know, flirty back and forth in the office thing and say, yo girl, I got feelings for you, but you're with this guy, Roy. I don't think he's that good for you. What are we gonna do about this? Right? And that never takes place. They just continue doing this and one of them or even Roy or both of them are gonna get hurt. The other thing to take into consideration, there is a scene in which Pam says that Jim is like a brother to her. And let me tell you, men and women out there, do not be someone's purely emotional boyfriend or girlfriend. This happens a lot. Like when you hear about the friend zone, that is not fair to you. It is not fair to you for somebody to be in a relationship who you you know are attracted to, they're in a relationship with somebody who is not giving them the emotional needs that they have, so then they are using you for their emotional needs, but they're like, oh, you're like my sister, or oh, you're like my brother. That is not okay, that is not fair for you, and God only knows how long you'll be stuck in that situation. So if this is something going on in your life, if you're in a bad relationship, either A, try to work on it, try to fix it, or B, leave that person. And if you're the other person from the outside and you think this person's attracted to you, you need to sit down and have an adult conversation about this thing before pursuing anything and potentially being a home wrecker. You know what I mean? So let me know if you've had any experience with this, if this is something that you've dealt with in the past. Have you been the person who has been emotionally cheated on? Or have you emotionally cheated in the past? Like. How did that work out for you, right? But anyways, let's have a conversation about that below. Like I said, I will be doing a bunch of movies, TV shows, classic shows. I have um, two videos coming out really soon that I'm really excited for to talk about some other subjects. But like I mentioned in my announcement video, like I was raised by TV. And I think, you know, one of the things is like when, when we look at these relationships and, and how they kind of blossom in these shows, and especially if we're learning from these shows and thinking that this is what a relationship should look like or what we should do, like, it's no wonder why some of us only know how to be in relationships that way when we turn into adults. You know what I mean? Because a lot of us mimic behaviors that we learn as a child. But anyways, more movies, more TV shows coming up. If you have any recommendations for shows that you want me to dive into or any relationships or topics regarding mental health, let me know down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you'd like to become a patron and get involved in our monthly Q&A and some other exclusive perks and benefits, click the top right there, all right? Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.